What's up guys, today we're here back at the testing table. This is a big spoon. Yeah, big spoon. So today I'm here with water. Water? A water bottle and some salt. Try not to spill it. A spoon. Like, sorry if I blinded you. But. And. Blind shrimp eggs. Um, but. And. I also have this, but. A microscope. But. But we're not using it today. Because it, we're just putting the shrimp eggs in. So what we did is we got a 24 ounces of water, um, a, how much salt is this? It's about three quarters of a tablespoon. Three fourths, three quarters of a tablespoon of Just kosher three. salt, a little less. So what we're doing, trying not to spill it. hiding. <laughs> it was, I was like, you know. And then we should stir it for a little bit. And, then, and maybe this comes out before I make the... Until, before I make get 50 subscribers on both of my channels total. Okay. And then on my gaming channel, not this channel, but if you go to my channel, it'll show a description. And I'm making a whirlpool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Thank you. Um, well, I'll do a full Daytona 500 live stream a month after I reach my goal. Looks pretty well mixed. Okay, what do I do with this? Let's turn on the table and the placement, so. Okay. And then you just dump those in? Yes. So next we just... Do you want some assistance so you don't dump them on the table? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Squirrel Mom for the assist. Yay! With Squirrel Dad feel, hiding behind the camera. I feel like there's some like stuck to the side. I, I don't know. Do you stir the shrimp eggs or... Mm. No. I feel like they're like stuck in there. Come out, little eggs. See what I mean? Like, are those still eggs that are like stuck on the plastic? Yeah, they can't grow without water. They're waiting for a suitable environment. Well, do we like put some water in and rinse them out? Um, I could do that. Let's do that. Because okay. it's a little now under. Talk about how you plan to grow these little. Features. So we're gonna grow them in this. Now this might be like a long series because they take one to two years to be fully grown. And how many eggs approximately do you feel are in this mixture? Around over a hundred. But not all. Alright, I got a few more. Grow. I think we're just gonna have to sacrifice the other ones. Sacrifice! Sacrifice! Well, that's <laughs> disturbing. <laughs> Alright, now what do you do with them after that? You just leave them there? Yeah, so we just... And if you and you can follow along. So, again, 24 ounces, a little under a three quarters of a tablespoon of kosher salt in a container. Well, your ratio you had was... It needs to be two liters of salt to two liters yes. of water. Or sorry, yes. two liters of water to two tablespoons of salt. Yes, two liters of salt. That's a lot of salt. So we just did the math, and since we only had 24 yeah. ounces. And how much we had. Yeah. When do we add the yeast? Um, probably when we start seeing little things like moving around. Well, I see little things moving around right now. 
floaties. They're floaties. We can do like. Don't drink this water. That would be gross. Yeah. You turn pink. Would you turn pink from the eggs or? I don't think so. Because brine shrimp are what flamingos eat, right? That's what makes it pink. Because if you look at a baby flamingo, it's white. And then as they grow, they become pink. I always put my ankle on the chair. Sorry. So, and then, yes, they eat yeast, but that'll be in another video because these guys haven't hatched yet because they've been waiting for a suitable environment. And thank you to my science teacher because then I can teach her the nine characteristics of life. I'm just... I'm, I'm just so kidding. excited to learn. Yeah. Um, so we're going to put these... Should they be covered? Should we put a lid on them or not? Mm, the ones at school don't have a cover on them. Okay. And did you say we should put them near sunlight? Yeah, so... Uh, maybe not on top of the kennel. We can go on top of the yeah. kennel. Then maybe you'd want to put it on. I don't think they'll spill. Sure. And then in a couple days, because that's about yeah, like, how long it takes I'd to hatch. Like 24 hours, 48 hours. So tomorrow or Monday, we'll add some yeast. Yeah, because this was a Saturday. Might come out on a Sunday or a Saturday. Probably a Saturday today. Because I'm coming out with another n another video tomorrow. That's okay. So. You'll just title this one Day One of the Brine Shrimp Experience. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be a series. Yeah, I'm I, know. Gonna I heard that. Posts. Lighting. All right. So, and then there will be directions somewhere, and I don't know yet, to what to do as she sticks her hand across the camera. I was picking up the utensils. Um... And then, maybe if you want, you go buy some brine shrimp and have your own. Just make sure you're not going to leave them for multiple days, for like a week. And after you start the process? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, um, just in case, if I'm just going to tell you this now and you, if you already have brine shrimp and you don't know how to do them. Two to three pinches of salt a day, you know, like salt. one pinch a day, like to keep salt, the water like salty? of yeast. Oh, of, of yeast. yeast. Okay, you said salt, so I was yeah. clarifying. I meant, yeah, I meant yeast. In the morning, if possible, in the like around lunch time, and then dinner time about. But since we all don't go to come home in the middle of the day. We're going to have to do a, probably a little more. And if you're a kid watching this video, don't expect your parents to come home at lunchtime to feed your brine shrimp. Yeah. I'm sure they'll be fine. They survive in the wild. Yeah. <laughs> Did you eat a brine shrimp? It feels like it. Gross. So, I'll see you guys in another one. Good.